I just want to take a look at some exponential and logarithmic laws. Now, there's a video on exponential and logarithmic functions, but after we look at the functions, I just want to remind you of some of the laws that you should know with exponents and logarithms. Here's a long list. I'm not going to read through them one to one, because one by one, but exponential laws and logarithmic laws are closely linked because the functions are inverses of each other. I'm not going to prove any of these laws, but I want to make sure that you're aware of them. Now, we're going to use these laws to manipulate some exponents and logarithms. And this is also comes in very handy when we start differentiating exponential and logarithmic functions. So just to lay the groundwork. All right. So if I just solve for x, here's four questions on solving for x. A good recommendation is if something's given to you in logarithmic form, change it to exponential form. So you have got a base, log base 25 of x is a half. Now remember with a log, what's ever on the right hand side is the exponent. So 25 to a half is equal to x. So x is equal to the root of 25, which is 5. Just remember with logarithms, this x has to be greater than 0, so it can only be 5. If I move across, lin of x plus 3 is equal to 1. Well, lin is a log base e. So if I rewrite that in exponential form, that means e to the power 1 is equal to x plus 3, which means x is e minus 3. Now, as a rule of thumb, leave it like that. Don't type e minus 3 equals on your calculator and give an ugly decimal number. It's sufficient as it stands there. We look at the next one. If I change that to exponential form, I've got 3 to the power 4 is equal to 2x over x plus 1. Now, 3 to the power 4 is 81, so I've got 81 times x plus 1 is equal to 2x, which means I've got 81x minus 2x equal to x plus 1. So that means I've got 79x on the left-hand side, I've got 81, so it's equal to minus 81, which means x is equal to minus 81 over 79. Ugly answer. But that's how we work with it. Now, looking at one of the other log laws that we haven't looked at now, when I've got logarithms written separately like that, I'm going to go back to the previous page. What we want to look at is these two logarithmic laws, so just make sure you're aware of them and you're happy with them. So what we have, if we had to read that right, this is a single logarithm. That's just lin of x, so it's lin of x plus lin of 10, so it's lin of x times 10 minus lin of 5, so it's divided by 5. So that's equal to 0. So I've got lin of 2x equal to 0. Now I rewrite it in exponential form. That means e to the power naught is equal to 2x. But e to the power naught is just 1. So 1 is equal to 2x, so x is equal to a half. So that's playing a bit with these log laws. Let's carry on. Yeah, I've put some laws on the right-hand side for you to look at what we're busy using. In the first case, what I want is I want to expand this logarithm using our log laws. So if I expand this logarithm, that will be lin of x to the power 4 plus lin of 2x minus 1 minus lin of x plus 4 to the power 5. For that, we used the first and the second properties on the right-hand side. Now we're going to use this third one that says... If I've got x to the power 4, I can write that as 4 lin x plus lin of 2x minus 1 minus 5 lin x plus 4. Now, to be able to write a logarithm like this, it's going to come in very handy when we start differentiating. Now, we haven't looked at differentiation yet at this stage, but when we differentiate a logarithmic function, it's very difficult to differentiate what's on the left-hand side. But it's going to be easy to differentiate what's on the right-hand side. That's why it's good to practice these skills. The next one, we can change it to 4 log y plus, here's a multiplication there, so log base 3 of 81 plus log base 3 of y squared. Now, these logs have different bases, so they've got not much to do with each other. So that's still 4 log y plus, now 81 is 3 to the power 4. So that's 4 log base 3 of 3 plus 2 log base 3 of y. 
Now, log base 3 of 3 is also a logarithmic law that you should know. Basically, what's, that says what exponent do I have to raise 3 to to get 3, and that's just the number 1. All right. The last one, I've got lin again and want to take it apart again. But what you need to notice, I've got a, a fraction and a root. So that's the same as lin of that whole thing to the power of half. So that's a half lin of that whole thing. Now, if I take that apart using our laws on the right hand side, that's a half lin of x plus 3 to the power of 4 minus lin of x minus 2. That 4 can go to the front. I'm multiplying the half in. So it's 2 lin of x plus 3 minus a half lin of x minus 2. So yet again, knowing these techniques will come in handy when we look at differentiation of logarithmic functions.